Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough post game. I think kind of the save file looks pretty filled up there, but as you see, there are badges and they are not done whatsoever. So I've pooped myself over here and I am ready to well worn grove it up in well. Maybe, hopefully, perhaps get some badges. <laughs> I'm gonna also take a look-see around here to see if there are any new people with dot dot dots above their head or anything like that in the post game, because maybe there's some new side quests or matches or something like that that we may very well have unlocked. Ah, ah. It sure seems like that could be a possibility in a post game. I mean, it did say. After, like, yeah, after we finish the whole thing, like, the, the, during the credits or something like that, or before the credits, I forgot when, but it did say, the story does not end here. And when the story does not end, that means there's got to be something more, I would think. <laughs> Unless it's just saying that there's going to be a sequel. I don't know. That could be a possibility. Who knows? But anyway, I'm just going to keep going around here, wandering. I wonder if there's actually now rainbow holes over at uh, Tidy Park in Blue Moon Dunes. That could be another possibility in, of the post-game. I don't know, could be, could be. Oh wait, actually I should probably do a quick little run through here. I'm getting stuck on things all over the place. <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't look like that there's really mega special stuff going on around here that's new or anything like that. Somehow, maybe, there is somewhere, something, I don't know. But I will definitely be playing around here. New grass work. See, not even, not even new dialogue. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> are you still practicing on the green? Yeah, you are. You haven't learned even in the post game. Or at least, I think it's the post game. So yeah, I'm not uh, maybe I should be hitting balls at people. Maybe I'll tick them off enough and I'll get booted out of the club. I don't know. I don't know. Me. Okay. And uh, no. There's not. So I guess we should just go to the shop and play around. And I mean, literally play around, not play around on the course. This is going to be super serious. 100% completion, of course. Oh, this is new dialogue. The course has undergone some major improvements. I'm almost proud to work here again. <laughs> Didn't think I'd ever say that again. So, wanna play around? No. Suit yourself. Uh, yes, I do. Alright, so we gotta get those badges or medals or whatever they're called. So we're gonna try our best to 100% the game in that fashion. Uh, as you know, I didn't get all the badges on every single course in the game, so... So... I'm gonna have to play through every one of them. <laughs> all over again, basically. But, we're gonna see just how much I've improved since I've started, basically. Although... If I don't get it in the hole on this shot, maybe I haven't improved that much because that's exactly what I did on other rounds, so who knows? Who knows? <laughs> nah, that was just pure luck. There's no way I'd be able to repeat that on a constant basis. See, look at that. I missed by 2.3 yards. It's just, just tragic. Tragic. <laughs> But I got a birdie. Now, which ones am I missing here? Oh, it's just on hole 5 and hole 9. Okay. Uh, I could probably pull that off with my newfangled distance, high lofted wedges, and new skills at my disposal. Maybe. This is a par 4, so. It looks like this could be Eagle Town since I can actually reach it in one shot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh man, I should have played it more to the right than a little harder. Dang, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you know, it's, it's the beginner's course basically. So that's that's why I'm figuring I'll be able to get a pretty good round on this pretty quickly. So yeah, all three, Woo! par five. As long as I get, why would you aim me over there? As long as I get maximum distance out of stuff. I should be alright. Oh, maybe I should have had my skimming woods, but I was, I was gonna say, as long as I get the maximum distance, I should be okay in that regard because of ye old 
distance requirement of getting an eagle on a par 5, so we'll see. Should roll out to the mole over there, and the mole should... Oh, that I thought that would have been one of the handy moles. Because that's not a very easy, <laughs> easy place to hit to. Well, my guess was wrong. That's okay. <laughs> Wait, can I... I thought, yeah, I was going to say, wouldn't I get better distance or better everything with an iron than a wood nowadays? I would think so. Yeah, okay, well, well. Okay, so maybe I'm not getting an eagle here, but I could have. I most certainly could have. Maybe I should have like a, a whole video series where it's like me trying to get the absolute lowest score I can possibly muster or something like that. I don't know, it seems kind of. Oh, I still got the eagle! <laughs> Woo! And not just an eagle, a mega eagle! I, I still don't know what they mean by that. <laughs> Alright, we're still not on the hole that we need a birdie on. That should be okay. Uh, as long as I play it like back over here, it should stop nicely on that little in-between spot where the moles are. I would think. Maybe? Might be? Yeah, of course it is. I've got the hang of this game's physics now. I can do those sorts of risky things, as I probably put myself in the water. But details! Details. Wait, no, I don't need that. I would like the precision mode. And actually, maybe I will go a bit under the ball and curve it so it's more straight towards the hole near the end because of the wind. Then maybe. Oop, oh, I miss hit that a little bit. Mm, well, well. Eh, eh, that's okay. That will do for another birdie. Alright, can I make this putt? Can I make this? Yes, I can. If I didn't make that putt, I would be very surprised, especially how far I've come six under par through four holes, and we are off to the hole that I need a birdie on. And I don't think you can do this like the save and quit trick that I was able to do at uh, uh, Mario Golf games to speed things along if needed be, but now. Eh. Well, we're just going to have to keep playing the courses until we get all the badges. I don't know if we'll get anything for getting all the badges, but there are eight courses, and everyone is lacking a badge, so that may be an indicator that, well, you might get something good if you get all the badges. Maybe. Because I haven't gotten anything anywhere at any time. <laughs> Uh, that should be okay with that little bit of spin there on the back side of the ball. Hopefully. You just don't go don't go flying over like I did when I was playing this in the early times. That's fine. <laughs> I, I never was putting myself in a decent enough position to get a birdie on this hole just because of a beginner syndrome. Boink! And there is our badge. Now we just need to keep our skills going on the ninth hole, and we should be good. I wonder how low I can actually get my score on this. And if I'm just gonna birdie and eagle everything that I have the opportunity to, I'm not sure how much better you can make that. Because, you know, it's, it's the thing of that... Oh shoot, that was a little under hit. It's the thing of that, once you get everything, like, nailed right to the mark, Beyond that, it's you're trying to chip the ball in from far distance away, which is a lot of luck involved. <laughs> so I'm not sure I want to pursue that low of scores because that'll just be maddening for me. But <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't bury this hole before, did I? So I've upgraded to an eagle badge. Yes, yes. <laughs> Alright, so another par 5, I do believe. Oh, par 4, no, no, I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention to the card, alas. Alas. Uh, yeah, they, they really need to cut that new grass, I've gotta say, but... Well, I guess it adds a little bit of extra challenge. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go, using that rough to my advantage once again. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you know, my character with all its, up, all its upgrades is indeed driving... 300, so I, that's that's pretty sufficient for uh, most golf courses in the world, if you ask me. So I don't I don't really know what the coach was talking about when he was saying I don't have the distance for it. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, that's a good approach, I'd say. I mean, it's not. It could be a little bit closer, but mm, it's good enough for the birdie, I would say. I just gotta make sure I get it there, because that 
quote unquote slight uphill slope, which I have no idea what they mean even to this day. <laughs> but I am 10 under par. And I am gonna keep it that way. If not, be even better. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't get a birdie on the last hole though. That seems just kind of seems kind of ridiculous at this point in time. But then again, you know, I, I, when I played this course, I was still in early beginner mode time dealio. So I, I guess that would be a part of it because I was still getting the hang of the physics and stuff like that. But wasn't that a part five? I, was, <laughs> I think. Even with beginner mode, I wouldn't have that much difficulty on a par 5. But I guess I did, but maybe we'll find out what difficulty such a par 5 could hold over my shoulders. Or, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess they're gonna s No, it was a par 4, but even so, even so. <laughs> okay, what, what was the thing that stopped me from getting a... Uh, maybe it was just the distance of this hole that... Um, probably need the skimming woods to get to that I island there, but eh, I can just play out over here, I think. You know, maybe I should have switched my woods to the skimming woods from the start, but eh, 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 I don't know. I still haven't really utilized the curvature of my upgraded, well-worn woods. So, oh wait, oh, oh, that's, oh, maybe this is why I had such difficulties, because of the tight p uh, pin location and whatnot. I'm gonna go. Oops. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna curve. I mean, super curve it. No, no. Maybe I'll go one club up, and now that's just trying to. Mm, I just don't want to lose my birdie because I'm gonna have to <laughs> have to play the whole entire course all over again. But yeah, at that angle, it looks like I'll be okay. But I don't know about the, the stopping power. Uh, uh, I'd really like to utilize that rough if I can help it. Let's see how that turns out. Mm, well, I nailed the marks! Will it be a birdie chance? That definitely looks like a birdie chance. Yeah! <laughs> okay, but yeah, I definitely see why I didn't get this before. It's because of the green. Because of that curvature and tight landing area and stuff like that. But now that I have mostly mastered the game's physics, I was able to play a... Virtually perfect round. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was, uh... Uh, that power five where I basically had to get it in with Eagle from a distance because I flubbed the... Yeah, but still. But still, that's pretty dang good. <laughs> Under par. Woo! Heck yeah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could keep grinding for experience, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go that far in the walkthrough to get up to the maximum level, whatever the poop that is. If it could be 99 for all I know, which would be horrendous to grind through and to Oh this still doesn't have a flag. It still does not. Alas, alas. But that's okay, because we have cleared out this course, but yet. We don't really have any sort of... oh well. <laughs> we don't really have any sort of uh, indicator that there's something important going... Oh wait, whoa, 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 what is this in... Whoa, what the... the, the, the uh oh I'm missing something. Hmm... Is it... Oh, is it because I technically didn't win the tournament outright? Because remember, I tied, but it, it, they put me at the top of the winner's pedestal. Hmm... Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> like, I, I couldn't tell with this trophy. I mean, yeah, I got, I apparently got a trophy, but I mean, yeah, because the, you don't notice know, that the colors, I won that for sure, you know that, but it's more like a bronze color. And this one, gold color. This one, I mid-range silver, even though it's the hardest, or maybe it's a platinum. Ah, but I'm I'm definitely missing something here over at Blue Moon Dunes, but we'll get back over there eventually. For now, I think I'm going to end off the part here by our missing flag. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I probably head over to Lurker Valley.